is I'm here to go over your first sculpture project with you. Now that you have been introduced to the different types of sculptures, we are going to be creating a sculpture. As soon as it opens. All right, so what we're doing is we are creating what is called a paper relief sculpture. You will need scissors, glue, hot glue or Elmer's glue or glue stick will work, a large piece of black paper, a half of a large poster board or a, um, a larger piece of black paper will work, multiple pieces of standard white paper, sketchbook or printer would be great, it just can't be scrap paper like have any writing on it. Um, kits have been left for you to pick up in the office if you choose to do so. If you need any additional ply, supplies, please let me know. All right, so you are going to be creating what is called an additive sculpture, which basically means you're going to add pieces together using a variety of assemblage techniques. Please view this YouTube video for further explanation. For example, this is a um, additive sculpture created by Louise Nevelson. In addition, our sculpture is going to be what is called a relief sculpture. What this means is a process in which the subject stands out or projects from a surface or from its background, like this picture right here. This is also a paper relief sculpture. See, these owls are all made by paper. Isn't that cool? Um, again, you can get further definition by clicking this link here, and please do so. We are going to be utilizing shape and form. It is important that you know the difference. Shape and form are part of our elements of art. Shape is two-dimensional. It has height and width. Form is three-dimensional. It has height, width, and depth. And there's a great video I'd like you to take a look at right here. So our project. For our project, we are going to be creating a paper relief sculpture. We're going to take 2D shapes and make them into 3D forms. We're then going to assemble them to make a paper relief sculpture. Please view the examples of um, a school that has done this project at this link below. And it gives you some great information and step-by-step -step directions. So first I want you to think a little bit about paper folding. And I have a great video showing you many different varieties of paper folding linked here. You are going to choose your shapes and make your forms. You're now going to make at least three experimental paper shapes that you fold into forms. You may use any of the ideas from the previous slide or explore some 3D or origami shape tutorials on YouTube. There are plenty. Keep in mind that you will be making 25 plus of your form you choose to create your assemblage. If your form takes a significant time or is too complex, it may not work. If you're making a uh, very complex, elaborate heart-shaped box or something, you're going to have to do that 25 times. So think about um, the time and um, the complexity of your choice. After your form has been approved by the teacher, you may start creating. You place and create as you go. So please send me a picture of your, um, your first shape so I can get an idea if it's going to work. Once you glue something down, it's going to be very hard to change it. So make sure you have an idea of what you're doing or lay some, a rough idea out before gluing things down. You will need to fill over 50% of your black background paper. This is going to fill the piece of paper that you choose to use. I don't want a bunch of black space and some tiny little folded um, paper forms. To complete this assignment, you will submit a picture of your three shape form experimental paper shapes and your final paper assemblage. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I hope you enjoy creating your additive sculpture.